All right, good morning, everybody. So this week, we will start off with the pad like we usually do, and then from there, we'll jump right into the welcome, and then, uh, goodness of God, so Emily, you will have the welcome before, just asking everybody to stand and worship with us, and then we'll jump right into it. Uh, so verse one will just be Emily, and then we'll jump in with her on that first chorus, staying in through verse two and the second chorus, and through the bridge, because the bridge kind of just stays in and stays built up. Um, and then it goes into the down chorus, that'll just be Emily, and then it has the eight counts of the build back up into the last chorus, and that's where we'll jump back in, and uh, yeah, and then the song will eventually end out from there. And then from there, we will jump into our scripture reading, um, and so since we're going from A flat to G, we'll just let everything kind of fade out, and then Kim fading us into G would be great. Um, if you wanted to just play that intro part of Amazing Grace, that's just fine with me, um, so that way you don't have to change any sort of pads or stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so then what we'll do is, verse 1, I'll take, same thing on verse 2, we'll jump in on that first chorus together, staying in through verse 3, both of those choruses back to back, um, and then I'll do that verse 4 since it kind of just stays down low right there by myself, and then we'll um, we'll do a crossfade into Living Hope, so uh, going from G to C will be just fine to do, and so uh, crossfade into that, doing the song in C, so verse 1, uh, will just be me. Verse 2 will come in together, uh, staying in through the second chorus, um, and then, you know, those choruses back to back. Verse 3, I'll take that by myself, and then what has the repeat of verse 3, we'll come in and we'll stay in until the end of the song, and then eventually we'll uh, go down, continuing in Revelation this week, and then we'll come back up and go into What a Beautiful Name um, in C. This will be uh, led by Alex, so verse 1 will be her, We'll jump in on that first chorus together, staying in through verse 2, through the second chorus, um, and then uh, on that bridge portion, that first bridge one, that'll just be Alex. We'll come in on um, the heavens are roaring. So, um, yeah, we'll do that. Sorry for a second. I was trying to make sure that that was where I wanted us. So it'll only be half a bridge one. Death could not hold you. They'll tore before you. Silence the boast of sin and grave. Heavens are roaring. We'll come in there. And then we'll uh, say it until the end of the song. So we're going to end this song. We're going to do it the way we usually do it. Um, just because What a Beautiful Name is a little bit of a bigger song. We'll end it earlier at like 4 minutes, 15 seconds. But we will have the tags there at the end. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. Last tag. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. And then the song will be done. So if you were to look at the chord chart, it falls in line just like that to where it does verse, chorus, verse, chorus, three instrumentals, bridge, bridge, last chorus, tags, we're done. Instead of going back into the bridge like the song does. So, um, but that is it for there. So, band, this is where you'll start the video. We'll have the usual countdown of everything. Jump into the pad. Emily will welcome us. And then we'll go into goodness of God. Um, original key. A flat, and we'll do the song just like the track, nothing nothing weird or different there. Um, we'll let everything fade out in A flat, and then Kim, if you could get us into G. If you just want to play the intro, um, you don't have to worry about a pad, just playing that intro so that way you can be set and ready to go for Amazing Grace. That would be great. Um, and then we'll jump into Amazing Grace, doing the song like the track, doing it in G. Um, and then there'll be a crossfade into Living Hope. So I really would like to be able to do this crossfade. So Kim, if you needed to maybe step out a little bit earlier on those tags on the will be forever mine that's fine and i could cover that on acoustic um, to get you ready for living hope but i would love to have a crossfade into living hope just so that way it's a nice seamless transition going from g to c we can do that um so yeah living hope's gonna be in c just because i'm singing two songs back to back um, and it makes for a good transition um, living hope's gonna be in c uh the original track is in e flat and i know we've done it in d before but i just want to make sure that not singing too much um, over the next few weeks. There's going to be a lot of singing to do with Man Maker Weekend. Obviously, student stuff, college stuff. There's just a lot. So um, trying to make sure to be smart about keys that I choose. Um, so Living Hope, though, is going to be like the track. Just note that it is in C. And then from there, we'll uh, go down and continue in Revelation. And we'll come up and go into What a Beautiful Name, which is in C instead of D. So um, and we're going to do this song the way that we have always done it. I uh, shouldn't say always. The way we typically do it where um, if you look at the chord chart, it follows the chord chart. So it basically follows the track up until 4 minutes and 15 seconds, but to where it's verse 1, chorus, verse 2, chorus 2, you have the three instrumentals, 
Um, you have that first interest in the middle, the F, G, A minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, G, then bridge one, bridge two, chorus three, the ending or the tags, however you view that, and then we'll be done. So, yeah, nothing, nothing really new this week. Just take note of the different key changes of some stuff, and then if you have any questions, as usual, please let me know. That is it, guys. Thank you.